Hey guys and gals, today I have the Bioshock Infinite Columbia, well, what is it, Columbia Concept Statue. I think that's what it is. Um, you can see here, limited edition Columbia Concept Statue, 1897, Columbia welcomes you. Uh, made by NECA. You see 2K, Rational Games, it's more of the artwork of the box. Showing the statue. All right, it's very. The box is very similar to the, uh, well, to the uh, Songbird box. All right, so let's open it up. If I can get into it. All right, set this up the side. And turn this over. Alright. So first you have the hands. Now I want to give a warning to people out there. These hands are these fingers are very, very fragile. These actually broke and I had to repair them. Let's see if I can is this is yeah, this is the one I repaired. There we go. You, you can see those cracks. It actually you can't really notice because this statue is made to look beat up anyway. Um, but I glued them back, and then I strengthened the out of, outside of them with epoxy. Uh, and then this finger broke off over here, too. And the issue was, um, I don't know if this is the way they came originally, but these arms were in here, and they were kind of bouncing up and down, and they just broke. Uh, and this isn't made out of uh, plastic like, like I actually originally thought. It's actually polystone, uh, which is basically a type of resin. So let's get the main part out. So basically it's just the two parts, it's the arms with the flag, and then the statue itself. Alright. So let's get rid of this. So the detail on this is actually pretty good, it's actually a really nice statue. Uh, it's not my style, but I like it. Well, see, hold on, let's back this up a bit. And Bear with me. There we go. That way you can see the whole thing. All right. So the statue, the uh, the arms are actually uh, glued to the flag, or the flag is glued to the arms. And you can see the arms have uh, grooves to go in up in here, and then there's uh, magnets to hold the arms in place. They're held firmly in place as far as uh, you know, being able to hold up the flag, and they're actually pretty strong. So. Um, they didn't seem as strong when I was kind of working on it to fix the hands, but that's just because I was doing things that you normally wouldn't do. So yeah, so they're really, they're in there really good. Um, all right, so you know this is obviously real material, and they they burnt, like to to give like the real effect. They actually have like real burn marks on there, real burn holes. Um, it looks really good, like it's been weathered. It's very heavy too. I mean, this thing is a solid piece of uh, polystone or resin or whatever it's made out of. I think polystone is a resin. It's just got um, like sand in it, like certain type of grainy sand stuff in it. Um, okay, so I'm going to hold on to the arms while I do this just in case. So on the bottom, you have it says NECA 2009 to 2002, take two, all that legal stuff. And then you have the uh, limited edition number of 486 out of a thousand. It's only a thousand these were made And they were made in China, of course uh, So it's actually really nice especially for a NECA because you would you would assume most NECA stuff is made out of uh, plastic Just like most of their figures. So um, this isn't one of them. This is actually like a really high quality statue I think they were a hundred dollars uh, normally uh, New I believe but I'm pretty sure they're sold out now so you'd have to find one, uh, you know, via eBay or something. One last thing I wanted to uh, touch on was something that kind of bothered me about the overall look of the statue. Uh, it's the issue with the clear coat or, or the paint that they used. I'm pretty sure it's clear coat though, because it's, if you look, it's it's kind of obvious right here on the arm where it's really shiny, and then where the spot in here it's shiny as well. It, you know, it's got the same look to it all the way through. Um, the issue for me with that is if this was stone, it would be more of a flat, a flat color instead of, I mean, you can see how shiny that is in the light. 
uh, it'd be more of a flat color instead of, um, you know, really shiny. Like these arms are the worst part, I think. Uh, especially the spots that were broken open, like the, the spots that are made to look like they've been uh, chipped over time. They just look really shiny. And I think, you know, that was a mistake. They, if they use clear, they should have used a matte finish clear. Um, but that's my only gripe. Other than that, it's obviously a really good representation of what they were trying to do. Um, all right. Just wanted to add that in there. All right, guys. Again, thanks for watching.